snowboarding. It's been a while since I've used action cameras. I used to actually shoot a lot of this stuff back in high school, which was years ago. A lot of my stuff and videos on action cameras, mainly because it's very robust, a lot tougher and better and easier to film on than let's say a, and 10 years ago when I started filming just for fun with my friends, they weren't the best quality video, but it was, again, they were cheap and they were easy to use. But since then, I definitely have noticed that this new Action 4 Osmo is definitely a lead on its own. So let's talk about it. DJI Osmo Action 4 camera is by far action camera, I guess you could say. I was debating if I was gonna try to get this camera or the GoPro camera. And GoPros had their issues, but after having used this camera for a lot of just, I guess you'd say life action shots or just interesting action camera purposes, I can honestly say, I love this camera. And I really like the features that make this particular camera very helpful. So let's talk about it. Besides the generic specs that everyone talks about from you know 4K, what I like about this camera is it has a couple quality of life improvements that even a couple years ago, most action cameras didn't have. First of all, it's solid and robust and easy to use. What do I mean by that? It has a very easy menu to follow, but it also has a front screen to let you know what you're recording. So if you're gonna be using the hole it comes with or other sort of like accessories, it really makes it easy to take photos and video. Which brings me to my next point, which is video quality. So a lot of these action cameras, the video quality was not very good. And to be quite honest, without even just the color grading itself, the footage usually looked very land, I guess you could say, and very oversaturated with color. But now with the DJI Osmo Action 4, you have, you have the ability to shoot in D-Log M, which is their lighter version of D-Log, which I love. The other thing I really enjoy about this one, this particular action camera, is its ability to be not only just a really good video capabilities, but it also has the ability to shoot in RAW. So you gotta go into the settings, but you have to adjust it. But it actually shoots JPEG and raw images. A really good ability to just use this camera versus using your phone's camera, or even, uh, let's say for example, taking a camera where you can't. So I've taken this snowboarding, I've taken this off-roading, I've taken this with me on runs, I've taken this basically every possible <laughs> way that I would normally use an action camera, and I love it. So let's talk about the four key areas I think action cameras really shine. All right, let's jump to the first position where I think action cameras, specifically the Osmo Action 4, really shine. Obviously, this is slowly becoming a car channel and car photography and whatnot is. So what I've noticed is this particular camera goes really well when you're mounting it on, let's say, cars or other sort of objects. So I actually took this out to the desert and did some donuts and strapped it onto my 4Runner. Putting it over here close to the wheel. And I think that's really where I think this particular camera is shining the most is that their stabilization algorithms are very good. You don't see too much jitter, you don't see too much shake, and it's really easy to just kind of flip that option available. So if you want to get those super steady action shots, you can. But if you want to get a little bit of tension in the shot with a lot of action and movement, you could definitely do that as well by turning it off. Then the other part where I think this particular camera does really well is their resistance. So I took this out when I was actually out near <laughs> a sandstorm in Death Valley. I've taken this out snowboarding in heavy snow in the blizzard. And to be quite honest, I hit and abused this thing like no other. And it was doing really, really well. Here's some shots of you know, just kind of just taking some video during a bit of a blizzard. Here are some shots of taking it out near a sandstorm. And what I liked is that it was very easy to clean and handled everything really well. Uh, the only thing I do recommend is maybe getting a couple more of these uh, plastic covers, I guess you could say, because uh, depending on how aggressive you are, you will damage this. Um, also, just get a 
screen protector for both the screen. There's no helping it, so always just get a nice screen protector. Where I notice this particular camera shines really well is probably just everyday sort of B action, I suppose. So let's say you don't necessarily want to have your phone on you all the time, or there's certain shots where you wouldn't want to, like let's say if you're out running or you're out, let's say climbing, rope climbing, doing point, you know, first person view shots of where you don't want to strap necessarily a big camera or even strap, let's say, your personal like phone on you. That's where I think this camera really shines, which, which is first person view. I actually am a pretty active runner myself. And so I actually mounted this thing on my chest to get some interesting, I guess you could say, <laughs> running shots and time lapses. But I also took it with me when I went on WPPI here in Las Vegas. And it's pretty good, it handles it really well, which I like, uh, WPPI conference here in Las Vegas, just to get a feel for how it would handle. And just getting some B shots of everything around me, it handled really well, which I loved. The one thing I would say is, one of the downsides is you do need quite a few batteries because if you're in hyperlapse mode, it's actually draining the battery quite a bit. If you're gonna be doing a lot of hyperlapses in kind of first person view, uh, just, you know, get quite a few batteries with you. The last place I think these cameras shine really well is not only is it the quality, it's the ability to be able to be a B camera, I suppose. So you could actually get pretty good vlogging setup, I suppose. So what I like about this DJI modern camera is that I could actually hook up my DJI mic to this, to this camera. So I don't know if you can see the little setup that I have here, but basically what it is, is I've hooked up the DJI mic, the DJI mic to the DJI Osmo Action 4. And let's just kind of get a test shot and video shot of this. All right, so now you're actually seeing me from the DJI Osmo Action 4. And what I like about this is that not only is it easy to use, it has a very simple vlog setup that allows you to capture good video, good audio, without sacrificing a lot of the hiccups and inabilities that I think a lot of other action cameras don't have. So with the setup, it allows me to just get very simple B camera footage really, and act as a secondary camera if I'm not gonna be using my phone or just my main camera for a video. And I think that's what's really fun and really great about these cameras is that a lot of the ecosystem that's kind of blending with this is that I could put this camera anywhere else that I need such as small little spaces and tight little corners to get really good shots where I don't want to be risking again my main camera or my phone to actually get a lot of action shots. Personally I have actually started including this everywhere. Having it be my B camera for a lot of just interesting shots is one of the lifesavers and being able to color grade really great footage makes this a valuable asset. Overall, I think having a really good B camera or action camera in everyone's bag makes up for a lot of capabilities where a phone or let's say a main camera is not necessary. So I highly recommend and give this camera, DJI Osmo Action 4, a solid nine out of 10. Battery isn't great. There could be some improvements on the, the flat grading and log capabilities as well as the improvement on uh, maybe having a bigger sensor for images, but overall for what action cameras are mainly used for is, you know, getting first person shots, getting shots where you don't want to be risking your main camera, uh, shots where you don't want to be carrying a bigger camera everywhere and just kind of getting everyday POV shots, such as the, just getting shots like this. I think this is really where it shines and I highly recommend this camera for anyone else. Until next time, let me know what you guys think. Do you like action cameras? Is there other ways that you use these? Um, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, until next time, later.